Transmod is Geist's modulation system. It's a powerful system that allows you to add movement and interest to your beats using a variety of sources. The Transmod source selection buttons can be found at the bottom of the interface. There's an AMP envelope, a free envelope. These are the free and AMP envelopes from the currently selected layer of the currently selected pad. There's velocity, which is the velocity of the currently selected pad in the current pattern. There's a random source, which creates a random value for the current pad every time it's triggered. Then there are 16 slot buttons. These can be found in the Transmod panel. These are global modulators, so they're not tied to a particular pad or layer. The 16 slots can be configured however you want. There are a variety of sources that you can add to each slot. LFOs, sample and hold, envelopes, sequences, and even some crazy stuff like bouncing ball and the maths module. After the 16 slots, you'll find the four macro knobs. These are the macro knobs here. These can be assigned to anything you like really and are great for performance parameters. The macro knobs can be MIDI learnt using the MIDI learn system so that you can use your favorite MIDI controller to control them. Finally, there are three MIDI modulation sources. That's mod wheel, pitch wheel, and channel pressure. And then there is the transport modulation source, which is high when the transport is playing and low when it's not. So let's take a look at how you assign these. I've got a beat here that we can work on. And let's start with something simple. We'll take the free envelope of this snare and we'll concentrate on just the top layer here. I can adjust the free envelope either using the graphical envelope here or using the sliders down here. And I'm going to activate the filter on this layer and apply a bit of free envelope to it. By hovering around the outside of any control that has a blue border, I can apply modulation from the currently selected source. This is a really good way of applying a single source to many different destinations. Let's use one of the slots now. I'm going to add an LFO to slot 1. Change the frequency to a half note and then I'm going to use it to pan the hi-hats here. Now you'll see that this hi-hat is actually made up of two layers and I want the panning to apply to both layers simultaneously. In this case I need to enable the layers button. Anything I do now in the layer editor will apply to both layers. So I'm going to select the LFO source and apply it to the panning. Put in some more hi hats so that we can hear them. Finally, let's add an envelope to slot two. I'm going to use it to close a filter that's going to be on the master effects bus of this engine. Here's the filter, and as I've got my envelope selected down here in the source list, I'm using it to close the cutoff on the filter. Now if I press play, you won't actually hear this do anything. Because nothing's triggering the envelope. If I click this little button here, I can actually choose which pads to trigger the envelope with. 
I'm going to select this layers pad, which is the melodic element that you can hear in this beat. So going back to the pattern, every time this layers pad is triggered, the envelope is triggered as well. And you can see it closing the filter there. That is how to apply Transmod in Geist 2.